If you're someone who loves fashion like I do, but you just don't have the money to spend on fashion items or you are currently on a budget, then this video is for you. I will be sharing with you 10 other alternative stores to Shein that you can pick up really good quality fashion items at a very good price. Price. Now this is a part two of a video I created I think a month ago. I will put the link to this video. I shared that video and I think a lot of you really liked it so I decided to do a part two and just share with you how I manage to still you know keep up my love for fashion items while saving the bank. So yeah without further ado let's get on with this video. Now the first store that I have is S Deer. Now I actually first heard of this store I think a couple of months ago. I think I bumped into them on Instagram but after that they actually reached out to me to have a collaboration which I haven't posted yet so that will be coming so stay tuned. But the pieces that I got from this store I would say that I'm quite impressed. The quality and attention to details especially when it comes to stitching. Now if you're into like classic minimalistic styles you would love this store. They really have those beautiful classic pieces but they don't have the price tag to it which I think is fabulous because in, a, in the world of fashion right now it feels like for you to ever have anything quality you have to pay for it. Second store that I have on my list is Halara. One thing I love about Halara is that they do active wear and comfortable clothing really well. What they've done as a brand is that they've used the materials that they that you would normally find in active wear to make everyday clothing. So to make like trousers that you wear to work or the tops that you wear to work, those clothing are breathable, comfortable, a lot of them are wrinkle resistant as well, which makes them those items that you just wear quick, 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 you know, and you're just very, very comfortable. A typical example is I do have like this plain trouser that I got from them. That's really nice. It doesn't have any zipper, but it has like an elastic band on the waist. It's super, super comfortable, easy to wear, you know, <laughs> you just wear and you're quick to go. Now, one thing I would say about Halara is because they focus mainly on materials you used for active wear you wouldn't really find like natural fabrics there and that's because I mean the materials you find in your active wear are normally not natural fabrics so if you're someone who really you really like your natural fibers your wool your cottons your linen Halara may not appeal to you but if you're someone who really like you know comfortable clothing something that you can just wear and you're on the go without thinking too much you can wear every day to work to run errands you know active wears as well then this brand would work for you because the pricing is great, tailoring is great and something I love about them is their sizing is great. So you have sizings from extra small to 4x large. You also have sizes in terms of height. So you have petite sizing, normal and also tall. So when it comes to sizing, Halara is doing so well in that area and I would definitely recommend. Next one that I would recommend is Abercrombie. Abercrombie has one of the best denims when it comes to affordable denims in my opinion. So even though I know that their denim is a bit pricey, somewhere between 80 to 100 to 150 dollars, I'm not sure. They get to do a lot of sales from time to time and they do have a lot of discount code that you can get through influencers as well. Unfortunately, I've never worked with them so I don't have a discount code from Abercrombie but I would say if I find any, I would put it in the description box. Now, the next store I recommend is Zalando. I would put a disclaimer. I think that Zalando is not available in some countries, so I don't think that they are available in the US. However, they are available in most European countries. And when I tell you that I've gotten some of my best pieces from Zalando, I'm not lying. Now Zalando is like a retail store that have like a broad range of clothing items from multiple brands. When I say multiple brands, even brands that I've never heard of before. From affordable brands to even designer brands, you can find them on Zalando. Walking into Zalando is just like walking into a candy shop, okay? There are just options from so many brands. They just tend to have some of the best boots in the market at an affordable price. So I will show you some of the boots that I've gotten from them. I've gotten boots from brands like Even and Odd, Raid London, all from Zalando. And one thing I love is Zalando is just like a one store for all because there is not only fashion items that they sell, they also have a lot of beauty products as well. So if you have a Zalando in your country, I would definitely recommend you check them out because you will be surprised what you've been missing. If you're in the US, the next stores that I would recommend 
are your department stores either walmart or target now because i'm not based in the us i'm based in the netherlands so in europe i always envy the us influencers when i see them rock some target some items from target and walmart i'm like man i wish i was in the us i'll be very happy to try out these things so i would say if you're in the us don't sleep on your department stores i've seen a lot of target hauls and i'm telling you like the denims that i've seen you know the suit sets that i've seen the blazers the shirts i'm pretty impressed by what i've seen now because i've never tried items from walmart or target i'm not able to kind of tell what the quality is but from the review that i've seen from you know some of the influencers that i trust i think that they have a reasonable quality for the price point one thing that i would recommend is if you want to buy from a particular store just go on youtube and search for that store and see the type of reviews that people have and the kind of products that they recommend it kind of gives you an idea which products that would be good quality from that particular store and which product that may not be Good to spend your money on so that's something I always do before. the next door that I think people are really sleeping on is Vinted now Vinted is it an online thrift store or an online vintage store I don't know what to call it I know it's not just vintage items they sell there they sell pre-owned items and when I tell you that I've bought some of my best designer pieces from Vinted I'm not lying I have never bought any of my pulling bags brand new I've just never bought it. I always go to Vinted. Just in case you guys are wondering what is a Pauline bag, Pauline Paris is a brand, I think it's a French brand owned by two sisters, I think. I love the quality of their bags. My God, the quality of their bags, so good for the price point and i love the structure and shape of their bags i'm someone who gets super bored easily with fashion items so i love to get pieces pieces that are very interesting very unique that you wouldn't see everywhere and that's something that i love about pulling they tend not to copy other designer brands they just you know focus on their their designs and they just make their designs so well I'm going to show you some of the pieces I've gotten and most times I get them from Vinted one disclaimer that I would give is that there's so many scammers on Vinted so many guys so so many so I'll definitely recommend that when you're shopping from Vinted always choose the verification option so vinted offers i think 10 euros in the netherlands for them to verify the pieces that you know you're buying to verify whether they are original pieces so i always recommend when you're shopping on vinted don't 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 do it don't ever shop there without the verification option so that's the only way yeah, i shop there so to make sure that the brags that i get from them are authentic another store or set of stores that i would definitely recommend are outlet stores i think that different outlet stores depending on where you live here in the netherlands we have a designer out outlet ramond i think that's what it's called in london i do know that we have the bicaster village i don't know if i'm pronouncing it well but you have the bicaster village where people buy items designer items at ridiculous price a few days ago i was chatting with one of my friends and slash colleagues and she picked up a bag from designer at uh, a designer outlet she was just telling me that she picked up that piece for 50 euros and she was telling me that yeah that that's where she shops so i will recommend if you have any designer outlet store in your area you should just go check them out they do carry you know some pieces outlet pieces from different designer brands and you're able to pick them at discounted prices so yeah check your area see just search on google outlet stores put your area and see if you will find something now another set of stores that i would recommend are vintage pre-owned stores i'm someone who really love to thrift okay when i was living in the uk i remember buying a bag i think a blue bag that i had some time ago from zach posen and i got it for 15 pounds when i was in edinburgh in the uk the brand new bag was about 500 or 600 pounds but i got that bag for 15 pounds in a thrift store so i would say don't be ashamed to go into a thrift store and just find what you're looking for especially if you're looking for you know good quality vintage pieces that you won't be able to you won't see everywhere but check out your neighborhood and see if you have really nice thrift stores and just you know go inside see what they have see if some if, if you they have pieces that you know work for you i understand that thrifting doesn't work all the time it really depends on where you are and a typical example is me when i was in the 
UK, I used to thrift almost every all my clothing. But in the Netherlands, I can't thrift like that because the thrift stores, yeah, I've not been impressed by what they have. So I've only been able to buy just a few pieces here and there. So yeah, if you are in an area, especially bigger cities, they tend to have like really nice thrift stores. I would definitely recommend to check them out. Now, when it comes to like online thrift stores or vintage stores, I have a couple that I think you should check out. So we have Fashion File, if you're looking for, you know, designer pre-owned pieces. And it doesn't have to be bags, because I know a lot of times when people talk about Fashion File, they just talk about bags. No, actually, clothing pieces are way more affordable or cheaper in vintage stores than bags. Bags tend to hold on to their values a bit more, so you may not be able to find them at, you know, ridiculously discounted prices depending on the brand but when it comes to clothing don't sleep on your online thrift or vintage stores in europe one that i just discovered actually is a brand called a retro tail is a swedish brand so they are based in sweden i think they offer free shipping to all the countries in eu they also ship to other countries all over the world you just need to pay for shipping they also sell like items that is not just bags okay the other day i was just flipping through and i saw some hammers uh, Hermes watches and I saw them like Hermes watches for 500 euros. I'm like what? One thing I love about vintage items is that a lot of times you are able to resell them Like once you use them well, okay, if you're tired of them, you will be able to resell them some of these online vintage stores they actually buy back from you so if you have something of good quality they actually would buy it back from you and give you like a store credit for you to buy something else i know that that website i just shared with you guys a retro tale that they do it as well that if you have maybe a designer bag a designer shoe that you want to sell that they they buy it from you they pick it up check it they give you a quote and if you agree with them they give you like a voucher and you're good to go so take advantage of that okay now the next store that i normally go for especially okay when it comes to walkwear styles you know my suits my blazers my tailored pants is mango even though mango is a fast fast fashion brand their pricing is a little bit higher than you would have on the high street okay some of you may be very happy to spend a bit more as long as the quality is slightly better so when it comes to high street mango quality from mango is usually slightly better than what you get from h&m and zara not all the time but generally speaking i'll put it that way especially when it comes to their tailored pieces so your their blazer their trousers you know their shirts their wool coats you know their and shoes as well mm -hmm. they do leather shoes really really well mm, mango so i would recommend you know if you're a corporate girl and you're looking for you know nice tailored pieces that look very good quality check out mango i would say that with stores like mango just like every other high street store sometimes it could be a miss okay you could go in and pick up an item and you're like super disappointed so i would say please watch reviews on youtube you know people always do hauls on mango on high street stores just check and see if from hauls you are able to find pieces based on reviews or be very open a lot of times these stores when you buy from them and you don't like what you get you are always happy to return that's also something that i do i'm never ashamed to return something that doesn't meet my expectation yes give me back my money <laughs> now another store that i would recommend is zara i am recommending zara in this video because zara started something new which they call zara pre-loved i don't know if it's available on all zara um, platform so I don't know if it's available in the US or in the UK but in the Netherlands they started what they call Zara Preloved so they have a different section on their website or on their app where you can go in and buy pre-owned Zara pieces and I will definitely recommend if you're a girl who loves to thrift this would be something you would love one thing that I would say you should look out for is that you find out that when you go to buy those pre-owned pieces the prices are not necessarily lower than brand new pieces which i find a little bit disappointing because i feel like it discourages people to buy but in recent times i've noticed that some of the pieces on the pre-owned uh, part of their website tend to also have like reduced prices i think that's the point i mean why am i buying 
pre-owned if i'm paying more than buying a new item from the same brand it doesn't make sense to me and also what i love about it is that if there is a zara piece that you absolutely love but you manage to miss out on it so you never you were never able to find it this presents an opportunity to find it you know people who own these pieces and want to sell them back so i have never purchased from there but i do intend to because i want to do a video on it i want to see if zara is really taking it seriously because if they are i'm telling you it's gonna be a game changer for for the brand because it just helps them to tick that sustainability box in my opinion doing their own due diligence in contributing to reducing waste especially from their own brand i'm going to try them then i'll give you my review i think i'll, I'll put up the review on youtube once i do now the last stores that i'll be giving you are not necessarily affordable stores but i'm going to share the names here because the best time to buy from these stores if you are on a budget is during their sales and these stores include course massimo duty arquette and karen millen now these are the four stores that i've tried some of their pieces or at least i've seen reviews of some of their pieces and i have been completely impressed because sometimes i feel like pricing can be very polarized so it's either you're buying cheap cheap or you're buying super expensive and you just have to find where you fall in but i think that these mid-range stores kind of just bring bridge that gap a little bit and one thing i love about them is that a lot of times you find designer quality from these mid-range stores not all the time but sometimes you find cost as people call them has been doing super well when it comes to their tailored pieces their denims even their coats man they've been they've been slain i'm not gonna lie however they are not budget friendly especially for everyday people so most times i recommend to shop from them during their sale which they do quite often to be honest they do quite often one that one big one that is coming up is definitely the boxing day sales that normally happens from 26 december it's usually big karen millen is one of my best stores when it comes to coat not necessarily because of quality but because of the shape and the craftsmanship men they do so well especially for the price to me a karen millen coat is very similar to maybe a jacquemus coat in my opinion people may have a different opinion but that's what i think i got two coats from them last year during their boxing day sale i think i paid 150 euros for each coat now considering that these coats retail for over 500 euros full price i would say that i got an absolute bargain from them so i would recommend these stores you see core stores massimo duty karen milan arquette just go to their website if you like something put it on your wish list okay once it's 26 december girl save up for it once it's 26 december go and buy your items okay now these are all the stores that i would say i definitely recommend you know that you can get affordable i always put affordable in quote because definitely what is affordable for me may not be affordable to you so i would say these stores offer affordable alternatives to shein and yes the stores that i mentioned in this particular video is slightly on the higher price but i think that that higher price that you pay you get a better quality however if you're looking for stores that have very similar price range as shein i covered these stores in my previous video so i'm gonna put the link to this video somewhere in the card so you can go check them out i hope this video helps you you know to be able to still look good still buy good quality pieces and still save the bank do let me know in the comment section if you have other stores that you would like me to check out you know other affordable stores that do have really good quality pieces let me know in the comment section because i'm always on the hunt for you know good quality pieces at a good price so i can share them with you guys because i really do understand what it's like to love to look, look good but never being able to afford that i do get it 100 percent that's the end of this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing it will mean so much to me thank you guys once again and i'll see you in my next one bye